I'm going to do asparagus and watercress uh, mini tartlets. So these are like little mini quiches. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is make the custard. So uh, I take the watercress, put it into a blender with the cream. Got to be cream. Yes. And then we're just going to pulse that. Good British ingredient. Yeah, that was the thing, isn't it? All these um, royal things these days, they've got to be British ingredients. Yeah, but that's and what watercress is quintessentially British, isn't it? It is, yeah, but that's what people want to see. That's what yeah. people want to eat. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and pour this into our bowl. Mm -hmm. oh, add the blade, you know, for extra flavour. Yeah, yeah, a bit of iron. Yeah. Yeah. Scrape this down. You don't really want to waste any of this because really this is there's a lot of flavour in here. Yeah. The delicious pepperiness that you get from watercress. Okay, let's see, let's scrape this down. Yeah. So next what I'm going to do is add my eggs. How many eggs? That's one whole egg and one yolk. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add the uh, Gruyere cheese. That's Gruyere for the flavour, for the yes, bite. Yes, yes. Mm. There's a, a lovely kind of a saltiness of the cheese, which is, I think, quite important. Mm -hmm. Pinch of salt. Yeah. I'm going to give that a little mix. And then just what I'm going to add to this really quickly is some sliced asparagus. So mm. I'm going to add it in with this mix. So as opposed to me having to add it in bit by bit in stages, you can just do it in one go. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to slice some asparagus now. This is, for me, so simple. It's n There's nothing complicated here. I mean, the hardest thing is just cutting a bit of asparagus. Everything else is just Yeah, but it wouldn't be a bit of asparagus. I mean, if you were doing... Uh, even with some other chefs, 17,000. I mean, how long does that take? It takes it takes a long time, and it's all about logistics. It's all about organisation, because you've got to if you know if you're the chef in charge of a canapé party like that, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> in what sense? I mean, it must be like a kind of industrial production line, isn't it? Well, yes, but you've got lots of different leaders in charge of lots of different things, so that all the canapés go out in one swoop at the same time, because mm. nobody wants a little trickle of them. It has to be like this lovely wave yeah, of yeah. of canapés flying out of your kitchen. Mm. So you know, you need to be on your game. So we're going to spoon these into our tartlets now. So this is just a nice crisp short pastry that I've made, uh, rolled out uh, very thin and mm -hmm. then baked in between two little metal moulds. Just spooning a nice amount of your mix in here. I mean all the work is just done. It's just so easy. We're going to pop it into the oven now for probably about 12 minutes. And is there an optimum size for a canapé in terms of how they're yeah. handled, how they're eaten. Really, I think a canapé should be one or two bites. That's ideal, you know, because you want to be able to, you know, have your drink in your hand, chat to people, and the bigger the canapé is, the more of a meal it is, and it makes it more difficult to kind of just effortly swan around and just have a nice <laughs> evening. I think it's two, isn't it? Mm. Uh, you know, I mean, all, the, all those etiquette people say it should be two bites so that you haven't got your mouth full if somebody important comes along at the wedding reception and you need to speak mm, mm, <laughs> like that. This is true. This is very true. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to finish these off with a little bit of asparagus tips to yeah. go on top, just like that. Oh, and that then, looks nice, doesn't it? So, you'd bake these in the oven, 150 degrees, for about 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. So but not too long. Not too long. No, super quick. They, you know, they don't take any length of time. But we already have these ready to go ah. for the final stage. No, I'm rather glad about that. Final stage, aren't they finished? Final stage, no. So on top, I'm just going to crumble just a little bit of feta on top. And it gives it this kind of nice, fresh zinginess. Feta's got it uh, quite sharp, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Mm. There's a nice acidity to a, to a feta. And I think it just goes really well with asparagus and watercress. Now, are these designed to be eaten hot or cold? Uh, both. That's oh, right. a very good question, actually. You can totally eat them hot or cold. Um, and there you have it. Are you just putting them out for me, or...? Yes, they're just for you, Michael. That looks rather nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, very nice. <coughs> seven. Come on. There's you said your, seven. There's your daily allowance of canapes, Michael. <laughs> OK. Right. Mmm. Mm. I should have eaten it in, in two, shouldn't oh. I? But irresistible. Mm, come on, have one, have one, have one. Mmm. No, oh, you do it the proper way. Mmm. Delicious. Really good. Perfect for a picnic, perfect yep. for a wedding. Absolutely. What a winner. Dainty delights for a lunchtime wedding buffet.
And these ingredients really are Britain on a plate. Asparagus and watercress,